You're watching live from Paris. It's time now for Culture. And France's biggest literary prize has just been given out. This year's winner of the prestigious Prix Goncourt is Jean-Paul Dubois. And he's in good company. French icons including Marcel Proust, Simone de Beauvoir and Marguerite Duras are previous winners. Here to tell us more is France 24's book critic, Catherine Kidia Clifford. Hello, Catherine. Let's start with uh, Jean-Paul Dubois then in his book. Tell us about the book. So uh, Jean-Paul Dubois, a French author and journalist, 69 years old, he's known for his travel pieces. This is actually his 22nd published piece of work. Um, so it's called uh, Tous les hommes n'habitent pas le monde de la même façon. So you could roughly translate that as not all men inhabit the world in the same way. Um, it's the story of Paul, who is a Frenchman serving time in a Montreal jail and s sharing a very tiny jail cell with a, a sort of gangster-style Hells Angel uh, man who's in there for murder called Patrick Horton. Um, and so we know there's a lot of mystery and intrigue around the character of Paul. We know that he's hurt somebody. We know that he doesn't regret it. And we know that he's not the kind of man who would normally go to prison or be expected to. Um, and he's haunted by these three ghosts between the prison walls of his father, uh, of his wife and his dog. Um, and so Paul's story sort of unravels through flashbacks to childhood, through his life outside of prison and um, and I, it's a sad book it's uh, it's quite nostalgic but there's also a lot of humor in there and I really enjoyed it and in particular the character of Patrick who is this scary murderer who threatens to cut everybody in two but at the same time is he's scared of mice and he loves to color in pictures of motorcycles so quite touching <laughs> You were there for the announcement. Did uh, this decision that the winner come as much of a surprise? It did, actually. There was a lot of speculation that this year's winner was likely to be the author of this book, Amélie Nottum. You might recognise mm -hmm. uh, her face. She's, She's very well known in France. Very, yeah. very well known in France. Um, a household name. and uh, But she is not, in fact, actually, in fact, actually French. She's Belgian. Uh, she comes from a, an old Belgian noble family. Um, she's known as La Dame au Chapeau in France. She has this collection of uh, very eccentric hats uh, and her work is largely autobiographical uh, as I say a lot of French fans and she faithfully brings out a new book every year they all sell always sell very well bestsellers um, and so she and she's actually been uh, long listed three times for this for this prize so a lot of people thinking that finally she might get it for this one in pit particular because she does a, it's a very bold move she um, speaks in the first person from the point of view of Jesus Christ uh, so a wow. big novel, <laughs> um, and it's been selling well. It's been topping topping the sales charts. But as Jean Paul du Jean Paul Dubois has actually been selling fairly well as well. He was at around forty thousand uh, copies sold. And it's just come out a couple of months ago. And for our viewers who haven't heard of the Prix Goncourt, tell us a bit more about it. Uh, so this is France's most prestigi prestigious literary prize. It dates right back to 1903, and it's been awarded at the historic uh, Drouin restaurant since uh, 1914. Uh, the jury, the people who decide on the prize, are the Académie Goncourt, uh, also known as Ladies or, or the, the Ten, and they meet in this uh, their own special room in the restaurant, a, a very French combination of fine dining and debate on literature. Um, and it's also it's a yearly ritual for them, but it's also a yearly ritual really for, for French people. A lot of people choose to, if they're going to read one book this year, it probably might be the, the Goncourt or they choose to buy it for gifts. I was going to say at Christmas it's a popular choice. Exactly, exactly. Um, and of course, uh, very, some very famous winners like Marcel Proust and France actually this year is celebrating the centenary of his book, um, Don, Don, In the Shadow of Young Girls in Flower, um, winning 100 years ago. All right, thank you very much, Catherine, for telling us about the Prix Goncourt. We'll leave it there for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to France 24.